Hello there. <laughs> and um, welcome to November. Um, um, it's currently the 9th of November and I have quite a few things planned for this month. Also, I hope I'm not wiggling around too much. <laughs> My doctor told me to sit on this gymnastic ball or something <laughs> again because my back has been hurt hurting again like not not so much in the last few days but like since i started sitting on this again it's been way better but yeah it, it helps with the back pain upper back pain especially for me um but yeah that's not what i have planned <laughs> honestly the last few days have been a bit event heavy um, as in like two of my friends celebrated their birthdays and a few other things that were all mostly fun um, But it kind of threw me out of my routine and I Want to use the next few days to get back into said routine But yeah, one of the biggest things that happened the last few days, which were was actually last Monday So three days ago, I went to a concert. It was the Fall Out Boy concert here in Germany and oh my god, it was so good. <laughs> it was so good. Like honestly, the... I don't know, like the day leading up to it or like, you know, the first half of the day or something were pretty stressful because the friend I was going with almost had to cancel on short notice. Um, and I was like panicking like, oh, how do I get there without um, the car and everything? But yeah, in the end, it did work out. We unfortunately just did miss the first um, band of the opening act, which was not nice. But um, honestly, like from the point where we actually got there, everything was so smooth sailing and it was, oh, it was so good. I love concerts in general, but oh my God, this concert in particular, so good. The set designs, oh my God, like mm. <sighs> the set designs were so good. I'm going to play a few videos later, like snippets, um, the, the songs, you know, like on, first of all, like the concert ended, we were on our way out of the, um, the arena and I asked my friend like which songs did they even play because I forgot everything right away, like my brain, like it's coming back to me again, but like <laughs> I was like, I know I was at the concert and I, 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 I am excited, like I was just at a concert, but like I did no memories um but it was it was it was so great i mean if you know Fall Out boy they've been around for a while and it was like i don't remember which one which song it was but um they said like oh the upcoming song is like 20 years old and you were they were talking about that and i was like i don't know like 2003, I, I was six years old, I was like, ah, oh, okay, it's pro probably one of the songs that I don't know that well or something. And it was one of my favorite songs, so I was like, what do you mean it's 20 years old? So they played like the old songs where I was just like losing it. And then they were playing, you know, like, I think Safe Rock and Roll might have been my favorite song they played, because it's so good. I, I might have cried a little. Like, I, I'm very emotional as a person and I, cr I cry very easily. It's normal for me to cry at concerts because it's just like, oh my god, this is such an amazing experience. It's just like me in that moment, it's like, oh my god, I can't process how happy I am right now just being here and like, you know. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, it was just, it was so great and like, safe rock and roll killed me. But like, then, you know, they also played... Um, obviously songs from so much for stardust like the new newest album and i just I, honestly i don't i, I can't think of any fallout boy song or album where i'm like not a big fan but yeah just <sighs> if you have a chance to see them live you should you should <laughs>
today um, right after this probably is coming back to a commission and that one is actually kind of an unusual commission for me um, so I'm incredibly glad and kind of relieved that the client is very happy with everything I've done so far um, she wants me to paint like bricks to look like books that so she can put them in her garden for you know now when it's fall and so winter um, there are no flowers and no greens there, so she wants to put the colorful books basically in the garden. And uh, I'm actually almost done with that. I need to paint the white sides, like three sides of the stones where you don't see the cover or stuff. Um, and I want to paint like lines so that it looks like it's, you know, actual page pages there. Um, then put some um, protection spray on top of that and then that should be done. At least the actual painting part of the commission. I still have to do like the uh, admin stuff related to that. And then the probably biggest project, no I'm pretty sure it's the biggest project this entire month, um, <laughs> is finishing up the preparation for my very first art market, which still feels very unreal to even say. <laughs> You probably know I'm mainly a digital illustrator, like I work on my sketchbook obviously, but like my finished works are like for animations or like, you know, visual development or, you know, digital illustrations. Um, and I obviously have printed stuff in school and like in general, you know, um, but I would not say it's one of my, I don't know, stronger skills. <laughs> Um, so it still feels unreal to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to design this thing and then I'm going to print it and produce it and everything. Because I am going to produce everything myself mostly. Printing and getting stuff print ready is something I'm always nervous about because it's so easy to fuck that up. Like even the people working there who are like, oh yeah, it's literally my job to help you. And they're a lot of, lot of times, not just with me, but also with my friends, they're like, oh yeah, I don't understand why this isn't working, but we're going to figure it out. So it's, that's kind of why I'm nervous about it, but I'm also very, very excited. I did some test prints already, which I'll probably show later as well. Um, and it's, it's really nice, but yeah, the, I haven't even mentioned which art market that is, I think. It's the Design Gipfel, which is an art market that happens, I think, twice a year in Münster. And I've been there in May, March this year, earlier this year with my friend and we checked it out and we thought like hey this is super nice it would be something to try out together so she and I applied together and we are sharing a table so it's a little less daunting but still very intimidating but in a fun way you know it's a kind of challenge where you're like oh I'm scared but I'm also very excited to do it so yeah um, but that's something I'm gonna, gonna get into later for now like I've said I'm gonna do the stones and I will see you later. Not gonna lie. It's like no. 
I'm not supposed to mix all of these colors. Oh, it's dirty. Oh, I don't like that. Ah, I mean, it's getting grayish. It's still pretty purple. Also, it's very hard to do, like, to concentrate on this. I just like, no. all my brain is doing is just like, ska, crust, la base. Forever. Goddamn. Like, it's not even like the proper song, it's just like in a very dramatic, uh, <laughs> remix or whatever my brain is doing. Here we also, it's hard to get the right amount of color on the brush because, um, first of all, I do have to have enough color that I can, like, pull at least, like, almost the entire line, which is gonna be harder if I do the long sides. Um, but I also can't have too much color on it because then it's just gonna be like one big blob at the beginning and it just like fizzle, it fizzles out the rest. stuff and I also just really really love digital art in general um, I, I do draw my sketchbook regularly but you know this is something entirely different but it was a lot of fun is and um, oh, um, yeah it's a lot of fun and I do think it, they turned out pretty, turned out pretty 
pretty well so far. The clients uh, is very pleased with them as well, like the patterns. Obviously, she asked me to do these lines again. To be fair, this was literally just a test to be like, hey, do you want it anyways? Like, do you even want them at all, or do you prefer like just the white stones? But she said she likes them with the pages, which I get. Ooh, you didn't see that. Um, And now with this, I, I see the appeal more. But I personally might have actually preferred them like just with the white, uh, yeah, white sides. Because it keeps the focus on the, you know, on the color edges, sides, whatever. But I do think this is very, 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 very relaxing. If I figure out how to get enough color on. And also, like, obviously, they're not smooth like paper, like stones. Um, so that's interesting. Because right now I'm at a very, like, the beginning of this line was very coarse. So the color applied a bit weird, like, you know, obviously there are more white spots, oops, oh. Yeah, I think this looks nice. This should work. Yeah. So now... I'm gonna send these, like, take a photo of this pa uh, side. I keep wanting to call it a page. Um, these are not real books. I'm gonna send a photo of this side to the client and hope she likes the colors because I think I like them. Yeah. bad it's the best I can do right now I'm sorry um, I'm probably gonna put in a lot of um, b-roll shots and not b-roll but like you'll know in a second um, <clears throat> so uh, it's Saturday and I'm not really supposed to work on Saturday but I wanted to show you what I did yesterday and also finish up a few of those things um, because I printed and also cut a few things for the design market. I finished a print. I just did five prints for now. I don't know how many I'm gonna do yet, but yeah, I just wanted to have something finished. So if everything goes wrong um, in the next few days, I'll have something to put on the table. Um, but yeah, I finished that print. I finished um, printing and cutting three designs for the notepads and for each of them I have enough for at least two notepads. I'm not entirely sure how many um, um, sheets each pad will have. I'm thinking 30 or 40, um, but yeah, that's something I'm gonna uh, decide later. Um, I also finished uh, two different, well, it's one uh, sticker design in two different colors. And what else did I do? Yes, um, something I'm very excited and a little bit nervous about is um, bookmarks, like magnetic bookmarks. Um, I did the illustrations a few days ago and test printed them once, which turned out way too light. And then I went to the printer again yesterday and a different woman working there um, helped me set the, like the color profile was wrong. Uh, she helped me set that up correctly and now they look perfect like they look so good um so now i have the stickers with the designs on them and i have to put them onto the uh, magnetic paper magnetic sheets and cut them out and hope that everything goes well i did do one um 
practice bookmark with not really a design, just a stick of paper, put on there, try it out. And that works pretty well, so it should work out, but we'll see. Yeah, I think that's what I did yesterday. Like I said, I want to decide on the notepads today um, and also cut out the stickers that I finished already. I'm thinking about starting with the bookmarks as well, but I'm not sure about that because I do have to um, have to do some live admin stuff, clean my flat and everything. Like if you look over there, that table over there is my, I don't know, ongoing projects thing. And it's a mess right now, so I might do that today. Kommt was? Noch nicht, nein. Hm. Die 
devastating.
Aha. Ha ha! Ha ha! Sorry. Haha. Ah! <laughs> oh, okay, I'm kind of oh, I'm, yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. Mhm, mm yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's been a month since the Design Gift Little Weekend and since then I also took part in a smaller um, art market at university, like a private one just by and for my university. And I didn't manage to film pretty much anything of the markets themselves because I was so busy. It's just, you know, first markets ever, everything is new, everything is kind of overwhelming. So. Um, yeah, that's why I couldn't film much anything, but I can say that both of them were huge successes and I'm very happy with how everything turned out. I'm gonna get a little bit more into detail in a second, but yeah. I'm really glad I shared a table with my friend Cynthia, because first of all, if I would have done it alone, I feel like it might have been a disaster just because there's so much you have to do and think about and everything and you just it, it's an enormous help to just have anyone else there. Um, but with this friend in particular, um, we work really well as a team. However, I also have to admit, like, she's the real MVP in terms of 
table setup, for example. Like she basically built the table, not the table, but um, I'm gonna put up some pictures. It's probably better, like understandable that way. But uh, she built most of it herself. Um, I would have helped. I, I asked if I could help, but you know, too many cooks and all. So um, my help was basically, can I help? Okay, I want to do anything. Let me know if I can do anything. But yeah. So basically for our very first table setup ever, it was pretty good. And I don't think we ran into any unexpected uh, trouble or something. Um, but yeah, so that table setup was, it was our intention for it to only be this one-time thing because we didn't want to invest too much money and resources and everything just to discover that oh no we actually don't like markets and now we have like this expensive um, like the grid shelves that people have and everything um, but luckily we discovered that we do like um, art markets so for the next ones we're yeah both of us said that we would want to invest in like you know proper long-lasting materials and talking about our next market, I can already say that as of yesterday, the day before yesterday, Cynthia and I both got the confirmation that we can once again have a table at the next Design Gift in March. So, yay us! Um, but now a little bit more about my experience at this particular uh, Design Gift. Um, I was nervous for various reasons, but one of the big ones was that I wouldn't exactly call the Design Gipfel's demographic like exactly my demographic in terms of like my work and everything because I feel like my demographic is younger and nerdier like the demographic of the design gipfel is more middle-aged people mostly or people that are looking for you know your traditional design market but which is neither is a bad thing it's just like an aspect I was pretty nervous about but honestly it was mostly unfounded like for example people um we're mostly looking at Cynthia's stuff at our table, whose demographic is like more similar to the traditional design gift for demographic. But if people looked at my stuff, I feel like most of them actually bought something. You know, like when they're, if they were looking like genuinely interested. Um, and if some someone bought something, it was also like they were so happy and <sighs> to be honest, like I'm gonna get into the financial part in a bit. But my main goal was just to see with this market if I would like going to design markets and trying to sell my things there. And I really do like it. And one of the big reasons was just like everyone was so friendly and really happy about what they saw. Like if they got something from me, they it, it was obvious that they really, really liked it. Not just because they bought it, but just, you know, they told me about it and like we talked about it and that stuff was just... I don't know, it was so validating in a way. Like for example, one of the things that sold the best uh, for me were the magnetic uh, bookmarks that I had and also the notepads. Um, <laughs> but with the magnetic bookmarks, um, I, I do think I need to make it more obvious what they are. Because I feel like a lot of people didn't realize they were magnetic bookmarks. Like I just put them on the table and kind of you know, and, and also like around the table, like some closed, some open-sided and all that jazz. Um, and I thought it was obvious because to me, like magnetic bookmarks are a very normal thing. But a lot of people, when I talked to them, they were like, oh my God, this is such a novel idea. This is so amazing. I was like um, surprised by that, which is really interesting though. So I know for next time I need to make it more obvious. Um, but yeah, I just... It was so validating, like, you know, you would be talking with someone, oh yeah, like this, by the way, those are bookmarks. Oh my god, they're bookmarks, wait a minute. And then I was like, yeah, you can like put them uh, into a book like this. And then I would demonstrate it with uh, Cynthia's notebooks, which really worked in our favor. Um, <laughs> and then they were like, oh my god, that's so genius. I Like one girl, for example, she was like, yeah, the other day I lost my uh, my bookmark in the, in the bus, so you know what, I'm gonna take one. And it's just like... Those kind of conversations were just like so, I don't know, that just made me very, very happy. And it was also funny to, um, like I talked with Cynthia about it while we were standing at the table. It was really interesting to see what kind of person would check out each of our stuff. Like like I said, uh, Cynthia, like not that she's, her main demographic is like old people or whatever, but it, she had like very... Um, like browns and greens and what themes and like what's... I mean, also what, like, she had magnetic, um, 
uh, like little wood dis wooden discs that she painted, like that kind of stuff. And I had, you know, the stuff you've seen in the vlog. Um, <laughs> like, we would be like, yeah, most people would check out her stuff, but every time if there's, like, for example, if there's someone with, like, colored dyed hair, they would check out my stuff and stuff. And it, at one point, it would be kind of funny to see, like, if you see people walking around, like, ah, oh, that's, that person, mm, they might come over to check out my stuff. Mm, I think they're gonna check out Cynthia's stuff. Like, that, that was kind of, I don't know, it turned into a fun kind of game. And thinking about the next design gipfel in terms of, like, designs and everything and target group, demographic, whatever. Um, I do think I want to lean into this, I guess in my case, DIY handmade aesthetic. Like I said, um, Cynthia had like those wooden discs that she painted and like turned into magnets and everything and they sold really well. And um, I have had like uh, clay, like air drying clay laying around for literal years uh, because I had to get it for class. So I'm thinking about um, making some little ornaments with those uh, because I used to do that, like for example, I made some foxes for a friend's uh, birthday present a few years ago and um, I think those would sell pretty well. Um, I also, like I said, want to make it more obvious what the bookmarks are and I have to think about my setup for the, uh, for the stickers. Because the space food, actually the space food designs in general sold pretty well, you know, like uh, um, I sold one of the A3 prints, I sold quite, like, quite a few of the postcards with that design and the stickers sold the best with those designs. Um, but the pride stickers, which I designed to be very low-key because I like that kind of pride stuff, um, I think they were too low-key <laughs> and also because I had to present them like all in not one big pile, but like visually it was kind of one big pile. Um, I don't think people really recognize them as that. And like, I'm also probably gonna put in some small uh, pride flags to make it more obvious, like, hey, this is pride stuff. Um, yeah, what else? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do more of the designs that I had this time, because like, for example, the purple, yeah, the purple bookmarks almost sold out. Um, and the blue ones as well. I have a few more of the yellow ones, but I think I also accidentally made more of those. Um, but I'm also going to do like proper new designs and I'm just honestly just super excited to like brainstorm more and like think about the aesthetics and stuff. So yeah, looking forward to that. And to say a little bit about my profits, um, I, again, my first market ever, my main goal was to just just to see would I be interested in doing this again like is this something where I could potentially make money with and um, for this time I tried not to think too much about the money because I didn't want to put that pressure on me right away um, so I know I made um, like the table fee I got uh, the money back and also my production costs um, and other than that, I, I did sell more than that. Um, it's not like the huge plus, but also it was a pretty small table and everything. So yeah, um, <laughs> I definitely see potential. I had a lot of fun. And like I said, we're going to be there in March at the next design gift post. So I won't be able or want to set this low of a goal again. Like this time around, I would like to have a little bit more income, especially since I know the demographic better and I know what to do better to sell, hopefully, you know, the, the things I just mentioned, like making it more obvious the, uh, that the bookmarks are bookmarks and everything. But uh, yeah, for this time around, I know I made a plus. It was, I, I don't even want to guess, to be honest, because I feel like I might be entirely off if I guess. Um, I had a lot of fun and that's all I care about for now. Um, the leftovers I'll be selling at the next design gipfel. I know that Cynthia is selling hers in her Etsy shop, at least some of the things, which uh, I'm gonna link in the description below. And we will see. Hopefully um, I'll be able to produce more new designs. Yeah, I guess that's wh where my head is right now. Um, today I'm gonna take a little bit of a break because I also have a lot of classwork and everything that I have to not exactly catch up on, but you know, I'd like to be further than I actually am. Um, and then I'm looking forward to brainstorming for my next design gift.
Bye bye.